hello everyone in this video tutorial we are going to look at line height in css padding in css and margin in css okay i'll be writing the code and i'll be using it to explain okay first of all let me create a html file i will call it um, vb.html okay so inside here let me just start with my html version 5 tag okay css here i just choose to use internal css for this okay because we have not been using internal css for example here so let me use internal css as we all know we have the style tag okay all our css goes here now let me start writing some content a div tag in this div tag um, let me say lorem 5 okay so that i'll have this i have copied this like um four times okay let me um increase it a bit with css let me say div tag have um a font size because i want to increase it have a font size of um 3 ps right okay i want you to be bold let the font weight let it be bold okay so let me test this code i review this guy in explorer which is here i now open it okay look at what we have now line height determines the space between this and this for example if i say let the if i add a line height in this one it will make the space between this and this to expand okay in the second div let me add a line hat okay in all this div let me just add add a line hat so that we we'll see the changes i says here line line height let me say line height is 40 ps okay back to our code Look at what we have. You see, the line heart has pushed it up. Okay. Let me increase this line height to 70 PS. Okay, I refresh. You see, the line height has pushed it up. You know, in Microsoft, what we call it um, line spacing, but in CSS, we call it line height. Okay. This is for the line height now let me comment this line height let me give our div a border okay let me see our div should have a border of 2 ps solid black okay we want to use this border to explain what margin and padding is all about okay you see that we have a um, border for all these four divisions okay now you can see that border for this guy the top border and the bottom border for this guy join together because there is no space for them the same thing goes with this guy and this guy their border joins together because there is no space okay and if you notice this p and this border they are almost joined together because there is no space so space that occurs with inside an element is known as the pattern whereby the space that are, that um, happens outside the element is known as the margin okay you know in normal handwriting book we have where we call margin line something like that okay let me start with padding i just want to use this button to explain so that we understand what pattern is and what margin is okay let me see a pattern here let the pattern be 20 ps we'll see what will happen to this div now okay you see the pattern the pattern has pad inside the element we just pad here pad round just run like this you know the same thing happens here we pad inside okay we can only pad the top if we want we can say 
padding top only okay now when we pad the top you will see the top will be padded you see i have part up here part up here part up here for this element part up for this element part up for this element okay i can equally say part top and part them um, how do we say it and part left okay i want to part top and left only i can separate it like this leave the bottom see now i have part the left the left i part it and i part up i just part here and here here and here now remember padding occurs inside an element we are by margin occurred outside okay so let me let me comment this pattern so that we'll see you understand what i'm trying to say i comment this pattern now let me do margin it says margin it's equals to 23 ps okay see where margin will affect okay you see we have margin margin now goes outside the element as you can see the tag have shift from each other because I have do margin margin goes outside whereby padding goes inside right Mar margin goes outside the element padding goes inside if I didn't use this border you may not really understand their difference okay so when this border is there you will know the right time or the function of padding and the function of margin so that you know how you write your CSS okay so now I have do done a margin let me still do padding Okay, can say um padding is um let me say 18 ps. Okay, you can see both inside and outside will have space. Okay, you see the function of padding occurring inside, the function of margin occurring outside. Okay, margin equally have margin top, margin right, margin bottom, margin left. The same thing happens to padding okay we have something like this and margin okay we have a margin left to do it at the left we have margin top okay we have margin right okay and we have a um, margin bottom okay this is for margin then as for padding we have um padding top okay we have padding bottom if you want to do for bottom we equally have padding right and left padding right okay we also have padding left okay and we have padding Normal padding occurs both top, bottom, right, and left. Normal margin occurs all around top, bottom, right, and left. Okay, that's all for padding, margin, and line height, guys. Please do practicalize this. Okay, okay, now let me remove padding. Okay, and do line height again so that we can see the difference between padding and line height. Now it says margin is 23 ps, then line height is 70. No padding because I have commented out the two padding we have here. Okay, let me refresh. You will see how this works. See that the line height only occurs up and down, just like padding, but it doesn't move, do left and right. The reason why you are seeing all this face here is because this test didn't cover each element of the division okay there are space in this division because this division starts from here and ends here but that is why we have space outside now is because of the margin that we did okay you see the function of line height just a kind of line spacing in microsoft Word. but pattern is a kind of wrapping it around i know that this line test only works when we have this line height only works when we have test now because line spacing goes with test most of the times but pardon whatever even if you are putting image here pardon will still work so know the difference between pardon and line height 
sometimes they might appear to be that they are having the same function but actually they are not performing the same thing okay thank you guys for your time bye bye